So my horsemanship has developed hugely in the last several years. Um, I think one of the most groundbreaking moments was actually working with my American Mustang in 2015. Within 100 days of training, she was had a better foundation than a lot of my domestic show jumpers that I'd been training for years and any previous wild horse I'd tamed. So taking that knowledge that I had from her, I then applied it to uh, three stallions I got in 2016 and obviously all the domestic show jumpers that I've worked with since. And then every single muster since the 2018, taking all of that collective knowledge and putting it into the 2018 horses. So from that muster, I had several really challenging stallions that really pushed my horsemanship to new levels. So one of them was Concord and he was one of the slightest horses I'd ever encountered. He is, he was very, um, very scared of humans, very much represented like a horse with PTSD, really struggled not only with being tamed and the idea of like humans in general, but he seemed to be easily triggered and really struggled to feel safe in the human world. And he was my biggest challenge in so many ways because it really made me understand the pattern of taming horses because sometimes with you know domestic horses especially but a lot of wild horses that are a little bit easier you can skip a few te steps and you don't really need to know what you're doing you can kind of do it through intuition and a bit of trial and error but with concord a hundred percent of the time i needed to work systematically through tiny tiny little steps to break through and make that progress and it was just little increment steps that really helped me understand a horse's body language especially because you couldn't take anything for granted 100% of the time you're having to read his uh, body language to see if he was in states of tension or relaxation and unless he was in states of relaxation he wasn't able to learn and retain information so that was the focus of every single training session and really gave me appreciation for uh, laying a really solid foundation based in relaxation. So the knowledge I gained from Concord and uh, five other stallions I tamed that year was sort of a stepping stone to my Wild Horses of the World tour. So when I first uh, I had my first time in the Snowy Mountains of Australia as part of that trip, I remember seeing stallions fight out of the blue and I, I'd constantly miss it on camera because for me, it was as if the horses were all grazing and then suddenly st stallions were sparring. And the same thing, sometimes the herd would graze and I'd do something and then they'd bolt away or um, you know, another band would arrive and the same thing would happen. And all of this behavior for me couldn't be predicted because I couldn't see the subtleties in the horse's body language. Two, at least two, but maybe three. These are all bachelors, I think. Oh, did he do that one in the video? I'm just feeling quite damp and cold now. But two or three days into that trip, I started catching little nuances in their behaviour. By the time I got to the Desert Brumbies in Australia and then over in Canada and America, I was able to predict equine behaviour 
several minutes in advance. So on a recent trip to the Kaimano Ranges in New Zealand, I was with 30 photographers and I said, hey guys, just watch in this direction because in three to four minutes there's going to be a fight breaking out. And sure enough, there was because I can see the pre-indicators of the behavior that leads to a fight. And uh, it's been phenomenal, not only for photographing and observing wild horses, but to be able to train them. So now I can be in the yard and see that things are escalating before it becomes a problem. So a lot of my training is now based in prevention and uh, sort of anticipating what the horse will do to ultimately prevent the horse becoming tense or things going wrong. So uh, it's not only refine my horsemanship but it's also allowing myself and my students to be much safer and the horses to be much more relaxed in the yards when we're taming them.